This video is going to talk about adding indicators to your chart in the web platform. Um, so after getting back to the web platform on your dashboard um, and pulling up your, your layout, what you want to do is go to the indicators tab. Um, this will be the section where you add different studies to your chart. Um, so after clicking on the, the yellow button, you'll see that there's a whole list that you can choose from. Um, I want to add volume, so I'll select volume. Um, you can see that it already populates on the chart. This is the section where if you want to change the parameters, if you want to change like the font, the coloring and whatnot, um, this is be where you do it. Um, make sure that if you do change anything that you click apply. Um, so those settings are uh, settings are saved. Um, also, if you do at some point want to change a setting after it's already been applied to the chart, you can go back up to your indicators tab um, and then you'll see that the volume is now added there and you click on this little icon here, settings, um, and then that window will pop up again where you can change the parameters or the series. Um, also, if you go back to the indicators, you'll see that um, there's a section called hide. And this means that if at some point you wanted to re uh, remove an indicator from your chart, but not delete it, um, just make it uh, invisible for a period of time. You can select this and you can see that the volume has now disappeared. If you unclick it, the volume pops back in again. Um, also, the garbage can remove, so that'd be the deleting the indicator from your chart. Uh, I want to add another indicator. In this case, it'll be a moving average. Pops up. Again, you select the period, type, simple, exponential. Um, and then if you wanted to change the color, I like to change it so it aligns. Um, hit apply, and now you have a moving average on your chart. And again, if you want to adjust anything, here's like the settings tab. Going to uh, the left-hand side, you'll see the charting tools. So crosshair um, is what something I like to use where it shows the, the price on the chart. Um, the hand helps you move the chart. So if you needed to move something, this is the, chan the, the hand will let you do that. Um, the rest of the tools on the downside, horizontal line, different different charting um, options, um, trend line, um, all the way down. So these are different things you can explore for your charts. Um, if you wanted to collapse this toolbar here, um, also this, this um, green tab here actually maximizes your layout to the full screen. So this will this will collapse the the, the dashboard. Um, tab section. So if you wanted to do that, um, that's where that's where it's available to do so. Um, on the bottom of your chart, um, so you're going to have some some separate indicator options. This will be the order flow, volume profile, uh, the order flow bid ask is kind of a, a cool indicator. Um, so you need to make sure you have like the right the right setting available, and then it'll pop up on your chart. Um, daily volume profile daily delta profile, weekly volume profile, weekly delta profile, composite volume profile, and then um, daily VWAP. So for those that use the daily VWAP, um, this is where it's going to be. Um, also, if you don't have it down here or if, it would, or if you wanted to find it elsewhere, um, you can find the VWAP in the volume section uh, on your indicators list. So VWAP envelopes.